comes to ornamental fish nutrition, there's a lot that's yet to be researched. Uh, when we are talking about fish that were collected in wild, uh, there have been some studies that have tried to look into the gut contents of those fish and try to estimate all the things that they have eaten. But as we all know, seasons in wild change and so does the diet that the fish eats. It changes based on the seasons. Uh, but when the fish comes to our aquariums, we don't have a way of, of knowing what those seasonal changes are. So we continue to feed them the same feed. And I'm not saying that's wrong. Uh, it's just that there's a lot that we don't know about. Let's just put it that way. So in my opinion, and I'm not an expert by any means, uh, this is just a logical theory that, that I have, is that the, the more variety that you can give to your fish, the better it is. Uh, don't try to stick to just one food. Uh, because we don't know what all they eat in wild and what all they need, the only way to cover the full spectrum is by trying to feed them a variety of things. When it comes to my discus, these are wild discus, I try to feed them a variety of uh, things. Um, I have a homemade recipe that I make. I'll share the recipe with you all. Uh, I feed them frozen blood worms. They love eating white worms. They also love eating peanut beetle larvae. And in addition to all of that, I also sometimes feed them these freeze dried black worms. Uh, these are imported from Australia, I think. Um, Simply Discus uh, Al sells them here in the United States. The great thing about these uh, freeze-dried black worms is that they are uh, super uh, absorbent. Uh, when you put them in water, they soak up a lot of water uh, and they hold on to it. So I take that property uh, as an advantage because what I try to do is I soak these freeze-dried black worms in Vitagen. This is a fish multivitamin and uh, then I feed it to my fish and that way I know my fish are getting some multivitamins as well. And this has just so much stuff that I, I don't think how else can we provide to the fish. So here's how I do it. Shake the bottle. There's a lot that uh, settles at the bottom of this bottle. Then Take a generous amount, that much, and toss the cubes in, and then I just press them in the liquid multivitamin, and here in about a few seconds they will start to soak up all of this liquid, and the quantity of visible liquid will automatically go down of course as they start soaking it all up. It's almost gone. And now they have soaked up everything. So let's move over to the fish tank and I'll show you how I feed it to the fish. So I have my worm cones. I have my cubes of uh, freeze dried black worms, which have been soaked in multivitamins. Now, put one and two. Now the interesting thing is that if I try to put the, the cone like this, this is so buoyant that it's gonna float up. So I try to put them upside down and that way they stay inside the cone and the fish have learned to suck them out almost like noodles. Here, we'll watch it. So. I'm going to take the cone <laughs> 
and they get scared of their own voice as they try to suck it. They make this weird noise and then they get scared by itself. <laughs> it is funny. But because I don't do this every day, they don't get used to this noise. Um, and that's why they get scared every time I feed them this. But anyway, they come back pretty fast. Here's the second one. <laughs> 